That's all you can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and Catherine, and we are here at Main Street Station in downtown Las Vegas. And we are here for the all-you-can-eat buffet. This is the weekend dinner. It's $25.99 per person. So let's see what there is to eat. Let's start at the broiler. This is the carved meat section. They've got turkey and ham. Beef of the day, as they call it. Not sure what it is, but maybe brisket. And sausage of the day. They've also, here's all the fix-ins for your, your meat and turkey, the cranberry sauce, horseradish, creamy horseradish. And there's some bread for the carb lovers out there. Masks are required right now here at the Main Street Station Casino in Las Vegas. There's green beans, yams, pineapple, baked beans. There is a bit of a Hawaiian flair to some of the food here. And there's fried chicken. All right, that's what I was looking for. Definitely gonna have some of that. <laughs> Grilled fish and stuffing. There's quite a lot down here. Hopefully we'll come across some more Hawaiian food. This right here looks like Mexican food, taco meat, beef enchiladas, ranchero there's beans. Some, there's some what taco shells. And, oh, okay, queso. Oh, yeah. There's queso here. There's tortillas Cheese back there. sauce. And um, taco shells as well. These are carnitas, Ooh. Spanish rice, chicken fajita. Oh, that looks pretty good. And corn. Oh, my God. It's a giant bottle of Cholula. And all the Cholula you can <laughs> All the drink. Cholula. Some fixins, guacamole, sour cream, sliced olives. Mm -hmm. Oh, egg drop soup. Okay, I think we're, we're in Asia now, the Asian yeah. section. Okay, let's take a look at this here. Does that look like egg drop right. soup? It's so sad. Oh. Uh, it looks like miso. It's sort of... It feels like more miso. Yeah, I think that might be miso soup. Yeah, there's soup. nothing else in here. That feels more <laughs> like a miso for sure. Oh, miso soup. So the Asian food down here continues with the spring rolls. Some chow mein. Stir fry vegetables. Sweet and sour pork, fried rice, and it looks like we got some mac salad, kimchi, and pickled cucumbers, I reckon, what they call namasu. Ah, now this, here we go. This is the Hawaiian section. Yes. I can see everything says, it says Hawaiian beef stew. This looks really that good. That looks good. This has always been the best food mm -hmm. here at the Main Street Station Buffet is the Hawaiian food. This is the Kahlua pork Ooh. with cabbage. There's some steamed buns back there. The mana. label says manapua. Yeah. There's some mahi-mahi fish. Shoyu chicken and some steamed rice. Right. Now this is only the, the only half the buffet. There's a whole nother half of the buffet around the other side. And then there's also desserts. This Party is a very in. popular buffet here. Yeah. There's lots of people coming down. You only have two nights of the week you can get dinner uh, here. Yeah, so. there's only there's only two nights of the week where there's a dinner buffet here at the Main Street Station mm -hmm. Casino mm -hmm. Buffet, and it's very popular. It's a very big party coming through. Yeah. And there's actually quite a lot of food. Yes. We'll take a look at the second half of the buffet now over here. Barbecue ribs. Ooh, I do enjoy barbecue. Mashed potatoes, roast steamed chicken. broccoli, and roasted chicken. All right. Beef tips. It says beef tips. I don't know what that is exactly. It reminds me of a cream chip beef on toast, except <laughs> yeah. there's no toast. Oh, you're right. Mm. Got some Marinara Italian and section. Alfredo sauce for some penne pasta. Mm -hmm. Ooh, meatballs and Italian mm -hmm. sausage. Linguini. Linguini and clam sauce. Okay, so we got Italian, Mexican, Asian, Hawaiian, and there's more. This is, must be the seafood section. This is fried shrimp, clams. Lots of clams here. Some vegetables, corn, carrots, baked cod mm -hmm. and scalloped potatoes, and there's more. Let's see what this soup is. I think it says chicken noodle. Let's make sure. Oh, oh this is interesting. It looks like some kind of. Oh, that, yeah. that looks good. Yeah, big chunks of chicken. Yeah, that looks like a good chicken noodle. Reminds me of soup plantation. Yeah, I was trying to say I it's the same soup thing. Plantation. So do I. And there's pizza, assorted pizzas, pepperoni. That one looks about the best. There's then, another fresh cheese oh, there's, pizza coming out over there. And there's more pizza right over here, too. Uh, it might be a assortment of yeah, pizza. That one's like a Hawaiian like pizza. Like a Hawaiian pizza, of course. 
That's pretty good too. That's it looks like, like a barbecue, a chicken. barbecue chicken and maybe a spinach or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. oh, and there's some... even a fruit. There's yeah. more peaches and pears and cantaloupe and honeydew. And there's even cold salads, pasta salads, penne pasta salad, bow tie pasta, beets, beets, oh. coleslaw, and butter. <laughs> There's some croutons. And then here's all the other little toppings for your salad. Yeah. So this is just sort of like soup plantation. Yeah, you've got the mixed greens, you have the different mixes of spinach. And we're still not done. Well, there's only one section left and that is the desserts. So let's go take a look at the desserts. All right, now these are the desserts. We have cake and pie of all different varieties flavors, shapes and sizes. There's mm -hmm. pudding. There's some jello back there. There's even green jello, one lone bowl of green jello. And then bread pudding. Yeah. They've also got pastries, muffins and pound cake and danishes, macaroons, more muffins and cookies. And the decorative side of the buffet. Fine decoration. <laughs> and then I believe the last part of the buffet, very popular, there is a line formed here, and that is to get the soft serve vanilla and chocolate with all the syrup and toppings that you could want. Yep, that is looking good. Just the way you want it, you can make it. Oh, and they're sugar-free desserts. Well, you know, if that's what you're after at a buffet. <laughs> All right, let's make some plates. Okay. All right. All right, I think I got to get some ribs. There's barbecue ribs. I think that's pork. Add some mashed potatoes. And of course, what I really want, I guess I should get some carved meat. Is that brisket? Can I get some of that, please? Thank you. That looks perfect. I guess I need to get a little bit of horseradish. That's the creamy horseradish and maybe a little bit of the regular horseradish. Now I just got, I got to get the Hawaiian food. That's the main thing that I want to want to eat here. I feel like I've got to get a bowl or something for the beef stew. Not sure. I'm just gonna maybe I can pile it on my mashed potatoes somehow. Get like beef stew over potatoes. I'll start with that. Oh, my fried chicken. I can't believe I almost forgot my fried chicken. I gotta get that at every buffet Pardon? that I go to that has fried chicken. I've gotta get that. It's not, I don't know how juicy this looks. <laughs> I'd have to say it doesn't look too juicy, but it's all in the taste, so let's taste it. Oh, there's a fresh, there's fresh, fresh fried chicken being put out right now, right in front of me. So you know that's gonna be good. Oh yeah. All right. Wait, pardon? I'm gonna have to get one of these fresh pieces and try one, one fresh one and one that's been sitting here. That is a, a big tray of fried chicken. All right, this one looks perfect to me right here. And I might as well get a little fresh leg too. All right. Now that is a plate of buffet food. All right, so you started with some Hawaiian food. So what have you I got? Did. I got everything from the Hawaiian section right now. It's under the Pacific Rim section in the buffet. This is a little bowl of the Hawaiian beef stew. Looks like there's some potatoes, carrots, and beef. And this is a shoyu chicken. Looks like it's a thigh. Um, this is the mahi mahi. This is the manapua, I believe. It looks like a yeah. like a bow of sorts. And then we have kalua pork with cabbage, which is always good. 
and they got a little bit of rice as well. So I figured this is a good starting point, especially for the Main Street Station. All right, well, I got fried chicken. I got a, a chicken leg, I, I, I believe a chicken, well, I thought, okay, the first piece I was hoping was a breast. I got the two fresher pieces that were just put out. I thought this was a breast. I'm not even sure what piece this is. <laughs> like, what is, does that look like exactly? We'll find out in a second when we bite into it. But basically, I also got beef stew, I got the kalua pork, and I got these the ribs, and I got brisket from the carving station. I asked her, and she said that was definitely, the meat of the day was brisket. All right, let's see if we can determine what piece of chicken this is. I'm not sure, but it's delicious because it's hot. Is this the one that just came out hot? It, it sort of looks like breast meat. And I think it's the thigh, actually. I think it's the thigh? I think so. Yeah, because this is the other one which I thought was a breast. I think this is a thigh, too. This is the one that was sitting there earlier. Yeah, not as hot and juicy, but it's still pretty good. Has a nice coating, nice and greasy, and it's still juicy. All right, I want to try the beef stew. Oh, okay. I was going to try that too. So you have it on your plate. I have it in a bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's like comfort food. It's total comfort food. It's total and I'm having it over mashed potatoes and that makes it even more comforting. Mm -hmm. And I definitely a want potato. Those I have a potato on my mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, this definitely screams or rice. Have it over rice, so it's great. Good tomato sauce too, right? Yes, it's a tomato-y beef stew. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a big... I think it's see. really good over mashed potatoes. You should try it. Oh, nice. I've got the rice right here. I'm going to do oh, that yeah. first. One. That's right. Yeah. This is the Hawaiian influenced buffet. Right. Mm. So I'm going to cut some over potato with the. Mm -hmm. mm. Store of it. Yeah. And you got the Kalua pork too. I did. I got I the Kalua pork with cabbage. And you got that too. Let me try it. Here. Okay. The Kalua pork is so good. It's very fatty. Yeah. Or I got a big blob of fat. Did you get a big blob of fat? Yeah, you have to be a little careful when you pick out your pieces here because yeah. you could get, I have a big fat piece here as well. Well, it's really good flavor. Okay, let's see. Let mm. me try it. Oops. Yeah, that's actually really good. All right. Just a little fatty. Okay, I'm gonna try the pork now too. Mmm, very good flavor. Mm. Yeah. But I think this beef stew is one of my favorite things for so it's far. It's really good. The beef stew is very comforting. Mm -hmm. The Kalua pork has a really nice, like, long braised flavor. Yeah, it does. You can definitely tell it's been slow cooking. It's That's very tasty. But I do have a lot of fat, so I'm going to just make sure I take off yeah, kind the of fat, to, too. Oops. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep trying to pull the fat off of these pieces of stewed pork. <laughs> All right, I want to try this brisket. This definitely looks... This has fat on it too, but this I can easily cut off. I'll just get the meaty part, although it does look a little dry. I need, was there gravy over there? Do you remember? I think there was some type of sauce, but you know, I didn't, I think there was some type of gravy. Right, I'm gonna go look for some gravy. Okay. All right, now I need to find some gravy. I'm, my first guess is it would be somewhere near the carving station. And maybe I'll ask the carver lady. Oh wait, is there gravy over? No, this is just the meat. Oh, no, wait, here, look. I think I found it. Here it is. Turkey gravy, brown gravy, and au jus. Okay. Now I need, I need like a bowl for gravy. Where's the bowls? Maybe, oh, by the soup, maybe. Yep, here we go. Here's some soup bowls. Oh, now that I'm here, I see the... The meatballs and sausage, I kind of want to try those. 
grab that sausage <laughs> and meatballs. Lost a meatball in the sausage. There we go. And there's the, the pasta, a little bit of pasta. She just took the marinara sauce. <laughs> so, so I just have plain pasta. Oh yeah, I wonder what the beef tips, what is this all about? I'll get a few of those just to see. It's pretty weird looking. What if that's the best thing here? That would be pretty funny. All right, let's get some gravy. So I need, I guess, brown gravy. Sounds like the best idea. Brown gravy. There we go. All right. I feel like I got a space on my plate. I got to put something else on here while I'm up here at the buffet. See what looks good that I didn't have. Oh, with the fried shrimp, that sounds good. I think that was on the other side, though, in the seafood section. This is the, the, the Mexican food over here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to go get the fried shrimp on the other side. Back where I got the, the bowl for gravy. Pretty sure I saw, oh, the marinara sauce is back and now the Alfredo sauce is missing. All right, well, maybe I'll put a little, now I can put the, the marinara sauce on my pasta. There we go. Now, if I can just find some fried shrimp. Oh, here it is. All right. Just like Sizzler. And I might as well get pizza while I'm here because this pizza actually looks all right to me. And there's a slice right here, ready to go. Fresh pizza. Put that right there. All right. All right. And another great buffet plate. All right, I couldn't help but get another full plate to go with my gravy. Yeah, it's like, would you like some a side of pizza with uh -huh. your gravy? I would, yes. Okay, right, so do you still have your Hawaiian food, that like I the do. pork bun? Yes, this is like a pork bun. It's called the manapua. I think we can make sure, okay, there's a wrapper. Make sure you don't eat the wrapper. Don't want that. Oh, yeah, you can barely see it. So you can barely good, see it. So always tip. check for the wrapper. Oops. Okay, good. I think I got everything. So let's All open right. this up. It's a very fluffy dough. Ooh, it does look like a, like a pork, yeah. almost like a pork bath. Let's try this. Mm. That's yummy. Mm. It's like those Chinese pork buns, like? Very much so. Yeah, it's Very similar like. to that. All right, now I gotta try this pizza. I know I got the gravy to try this, the brisket, but I really wanna know how good this pizza is. This buffet pizza, Famously hit and miss. It, it, sometimes it's great, but sometimes it's terrible. So this is actually very hot. Like I think they just just put this out oh, after good. cooking it. So okay. let's try it. That's pretty good. Is it? Okay. That is pretty good. It doesn't look like it would be, but it actually is pretty good. Is it because it's like fresh and like super yeah, hot? It helps that it's hot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But the cheese has a nice flavor. It's okay. and the pepperoni. It's like mm -hmm. it's not all crisped up and burnt or anything. Mm -hmm. And the, the crust is fine too. And there's other types of pizza there too. There's a Hawaiian, a barbecue yeah. chicken, cheese. I'm gonna try the other slices, other side, mm -hmm. the types of pizza as well. I really want to try my gravy and the brisket, but I also want to try these meatballs and sausages. Which one? Which plate? There's too much to eat here at the buffet. All right, I'm gonna go with the meat because I got the gravy just for that. <laughs> okay, going in on the brisket. Mm. It's All an right. interesting technique. <laughs> <laughs> my cutting. 
It was, it was a little tough. Oh, with a spoon. Oh, it's a spoon. <laughs> That's why I was having trouble. <laughs> All right. Now, I got a little horseradish on there, too, and we'll try the gravy. It's a little tough, but it's actually pretty good. It's definitely, the gravy is delicious. I actually, I want to put like my fried chicken in the gravy. Hey. Like Jollibee style. Hey. Let's try it. Yeah. That's good. Does it improve it? Mm hmm Yeah, this definitely, I mean, I never dipped my chicken in gravy until I tried Jollibee, but it, it's delicious. It looks good. Yeah. There we go. This is a good gravy, too. And the last thing from the Hawaiian section that I'm trying is the shoyu chicken, and it's a thigh. And, and shoyu, soy sauce. See it is. Yeah. Very moist, very tender. It's slimy. It's very flavorful. I think it's really good. Can you I taste think, the soy sauce? Does it taste Hawaiian? It, I can taste like faint soy sauce. It's more on the outside, on the skin. Yeah. But it's not like it's a, it really like imparted into the meat, like a, a slow braise. But it's, it's good tasting. It's, it's very good. I would like this with rice. I think it's good. I think to try it. All right. I got to try this spaghetti. Oh, I call it spaghetti. I guess it's penne. Penne. Mm -hmm. Sweet sausage, sweet Italian sausage, the peppers. Meatballs are kind of like frozen Costco style meatballs. Definitely not homemade, but they're still okay. Mm. I'll stick to the fried chicken. with gravy. It's time for me to go get my second plate. I just had all the Hawaiian specialties, which were delicious. And now, let's go here. Okay. Now, what should I get? Well, I definitely want to get some enchiladas. I love enchiladas. These are beef. Usually I get just cheese it's in a combo plate. I don't know about you, but I love a combo plate. So here's beef and now I'm gonna get some taco meat as well, so I can perhaps build a taco. That'd be good. Okay. We'll get the taco shell last. Oh, I also like some carnitas. I know I just had some pork, with the Kahlua pork. But you know, might as well try this too. I'm gonna get a little bit here for my plate. Okay, oops. And I'm a sucker for some Spanish rice. Let's try a little of this too, put it in the middle here. And before I forget, let me get a, a taco shell as well. Again, they're back here. So I'm just... Okay, let me put you, you're gonna rest right there. Yeah, there's, there's fresh tortillas here underneath that napkin. Um, there's also cheese sauce, and I'm not going to get that right now. Here is some Cholula. Now, I think this is hilarious. Is this like really like a giant bottle of Cholula that I could? It is a lot of Cholula. It looks like a juice bottle, right? Okay, it's here, so I need to try this. Now, I want to know, comment down below, are you a Cholula person or a Tapatio person? Because some people are very adamantly Tapatio, some are adamantly Cholula. We'll just put a little on the Let's put a little on the enchilada here. Oh. Okay, well, okay, I just poured a lot. That's gonna be a kick. Again, comment down below if you like Cholula or Tapatio, because Main Street Station's got you covered if you like Cholula. Okay. Oh, Mexican corn. Oh, almost forgot. Let me get some of this Mexican corn too. It sounds good. 
You can help absorb all the Cholula I just poured all over my plate. All right, I still have the ribs. Let's try these. That's actually really good. It's juicy, it's not dry at all. Mm. It's messy, but yeah, that's good. All right, how about the Mexican food? Yeah, I am not sure what to try first. I think I'll try the beef enchilada first since I, that was the first thing I put on my plate. Let's see. I love enchiladas. Yeah. So good. Okay, let's see, it's beef enchilada. That's really good. Yeah? Perhaps because it got the Cholula all over one side of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that might have helped. That's really tasty. I just, it's exactly what I would expect. It's a, yeah. These are the carnitas on the Mexican side. Ooh. Usually they're pork. Usually I'm used to them being like kind of like shredded and like yeah, fried that's more. almost just like a pork roast or something. Yeah. Mm. Those are good. Those are actually good. It's a little dry. It's a little. But they're, they're flavorful. There's still flavor there. They don't look like the typical carnitas. But they're good. I like this. Maybe, perhaps I should put some in the Cholula sauce. Yes. Mm, yes. You can mix it in with your ground beef. You I could. Put it in your taco. I could put it in the taco. You can do just about anything with it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Now I'm going to build my taco. All right. I'll just put an enchilada in the taco. Who knows? <laughs> you can do whatever I want. That's right. It's a buffet. Mm. It's a buffet. All right. Time for more buffet food. There's so much to choose from here. But I don't know if you can tell, but I'm headed back to the pizza. Believe it or not. I really like this pizza. I want to try some of the other flavors. This, like this one looks like the Hawaiian, so you gotta get this one at the Main Street Station Buffet with all the other Hawaiian food. This one, the barbecue chicken, looks pretty good. I feel like these have probably been sitting out longer than the pepperoni one. There's not a lot of high traffic over here for the pizza, but we'll see, because I enjoyed the pepperoni. In fact, I think I should just get another slice of pepperoni. A nice big one here. Yeah, that's good. And what else did I miss? Uh, scallop potatoes? No, I don't want that. Linguine and clams. Now, that looks pretty good, really. But I don't really have any space right here unless I put it on top of my pizza. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, I'm just going to take the pizza back to the table and try the pizza. Which are you going to try first? I'm going to start with the Hawaiian pizza. Here we go. That is good, too. Is it? Okay. Yeah. We like pineapple on pizza. So. Pineapple, ham, cheese. Delicious. Oh, good. I'm honestly shocked. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm encouraged. I'm going to go try some now, too. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to just build my taco. Got my ground meat. Let's see. We'll throw in some, some of this lettuce here. Just my hands. It's a little faster if I can do it this way here. Look at what else did I have here. What else can I put in? I'll put in some of the guacamole and cheese. I'm glad that's good. I know. <laughs> you still have other slices to try, yeah. too. Yeah. Try that barbecue chicken. <laughs> I mean, this one looks like it's been sitting around a while, so we'll see. A little bit. How is yeah, that? it tastes like it's been sitting around a while, but mm. the chicken actually tastes like barbecue chicken, like like chicken pieces slathered with barbecue sauce. Actually, it okay. tastes like that. It's good. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Maybe I'll try that. Now, you have to try this one. And this one's like a spinach or something like that. 
Mm. Mm. They're still pretty warm. Okay. That's good. Very spinachy. <laughs> like that cooked down spinach flavor. Yeah. Okay, I just built my taco. I'm gonna try this now. I have the taco meat, guacamole, there's some lettuce, some cheese, a little bit of corn. I tried to get some Cholula sauce on it too. See how this, see how this will stick together or stay together. Mm. Mm. It's pretty good. This is pretty good too. When the taco meat's like seasoned properly, you happen with anything. The one thing is that they don't have like tortilla chips, but there's cheese sauce. So it's almost like you have like nacho sauce, nacho cheese sauce, but no chips. Not like I would put that on here. And that's good, right? You know why I think this is so good? We've been off carbs. We're <laughs> on a new diet where we're trying to only eat like protein and vegetables. And we're trying to avoid bread and pasta and rice. This is so good. <laughs> Maybe that's why. It tastes extra, extra good. Extra good. Extra carb. So if you're going off your your low carb, no carb diet, come here to the Main Street Station Buffet and get all the pizza. All right, it's time for dessert. And now there is no line here at the Vanilla and Chocolate Soft Serve Station. So I guess I should probably, oh look, they have chocolate, butterscotch, and caramel toppings. And looks like some, some chopped up Reese's Pieces. But I really just want to have some like, you know, cake or pie first. Not this sugar-free stuff. Here we go. You know, I need a like a bigger plate to put all these little plates on. Oh, there's more jello. Looks like there's even like fruit inside some of the jello. And I gotta say, this bread pudding looks very good. I just gotta get a bigger plate. Where's the big plates? Oh, uh, here we go. Right here. Perfect. A nice big plate for desserts. All right, the first thing I gotta try is this bread pudding. Yeah, this look, <laughs> looks extra good to me right now. All that caramel and bread. There we go. All right. And I do kind of like, I don't know if this is like rice pudding. Maybe it's rice pudding. That sounds good too. And what is this? Like a banana cream pie? Chocolate pie? What is this? Like a tiramisu pie? I'm gonna try that one. And they got carrots, cake, red velvet cake, lemon cake that looks good, and cheesecake. I'm really tempted to try the cheesecake. Okay, I will. And now I really want the saucer, but you know, I need a second plate. All right, let me take this back, back here to the, to the table. Can I just leave my desserts here and get another plate of desserts? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the strategy. Getting the big plates near the carving station for another big plate of desserts. This time I'm gonna look over at the uh, muffins and stuff like that. The danishes, those look pretty good. Cookies. I think I'm gonna go for a cookie. Like maybe a oatmeal raisin. And I do like a like a blueberry danish. That looks nice. And how about some pound cake? Make sure I get a nice, fresh, yeah, it feels soft. All right. And of course, now, the soft serve. And I'm gonna just put soft serve on my plate. Oh wait, but they do have the cones, ice cream cups, they call them. All right, I'm just gonna have to try to put some some soft serve here. There we go. It doesn't say if it's soft serve 
ice cream or yogurt or non-dairy creamer. It just says soft serve. But I definitely want to have some caramel sauce on it. All right, somehow the caramel is getting in between my desserts because I'm trying to hold this camera at the same time. All right, well, I think that looks pretty good as is. Now, this is what I call buffet plates. Hey, if you're liking these videos, these buffet videos here in Las Vegas, be sure to click that subscribe button right now. We even have memberships if you want bonus perks like custom emojis and membership badges. You can join our membership. Just click the join link down below and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about these videos about buffets and about Las Vegas. Now, back to the food. What have you got here? Oh, I had to get a pizza flight as well because <laughs> yes. I wanted to try them myself. And I also went to the other part of the Pacific Rim Asian section. All right. We have spring rolls, sweet and sour pork, chow mein, stir fried vegetables, and fried rice. Looks like a food court in here. It does look like it. This is, this is like the food court section. Is it, is it okay? It's I pretty mean, good. Yeah, I mean, you can't have the highest expectations at no. a buffet for no. pizza, but. No, it's, it's, hit, it's scratching the itch. Yeah, totally. The, the tomato sauce is a little sweet. Yeah. Did you get some sweetness from it? It's very, definitely satisfying the craving. And that's all I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What about this Chinese food? No, yeah, definitely try the Chinese food. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back to the pizza, but let's try this. Now, the only protein in the Chinese section was the sweet and sour pork, so I'm going to try that first. Okay. And this usually usual, you got like a big piece of pineapple, some onions. So let me try this bite of pineapple and pork together. Do you think this is too big of a bite? Well, not for me, but you know. You... Oh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> You know when you get food court Chinese food? Yeah. That's what this is. Well, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the fact that that's the, the Hawaiian flavors, right? The pork and the pineapple. And this is uh, the Main Street Station buffet where they, it's really the only buffet in Vegas that has like Hawaiian food right, on it. Right, right. So you could, could kind of, cons would you consider that part of the Hawaiian food? <laughs> I, it's Hawaiian adjacent. <laughs> yeah. Can you call it that? I guess we'll go with just more food court. Tomorrow. Yeah, more food court. At least they have like Kahlua pork and cabbage, which is definitely Hawaiian. Yes. Yeah. But this Chinese food, more like Panda Express or Pick Up Sticks. Mm -hmm. But it's all you can eat. It is all you can eat. All right, let's try this soft serve before it melts. Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what that is exactly, but it's good. With all the caramel sauce. That is good. And let's try the pound cake. Mm. Okay. What about this? Like, what is this? I think it's rice pudding, but let's find out. Oh, that's good. That is really good rice pudding. Mm. Mm. Well, now it has like an aftertaste, so I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe I got a sugar-free one by mistake. Ugh, no. Actually, that's terrible. That's terrible rice pudding. <laughs> okay. Mm. How about bread pudding? I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Sweet, sweet bread. <laughs> mm. Now this cheesecake and tiramisu, these actually look like probably some of the best food here. 
on the desserts. So let's try first. Let's try the cheesecake. It's fine, and the tiramisu. Yeah, that's really good. That's good. It tastes like tiramisu. So, oh, that Catherine is back I'm getting back. her desserts. I'm uh, back. Okay, so what did you get? It looks very similar to what I got. <laughs> yes, I, all the desserts kind of look similar. I right, think. I got a German chocolate cake size. A little bit of cheesecake, and this looks like a banana cream pie slice here. And an eclair, yeah. which kind of flipped when I put it on my plate. And I got a little vanilla chocolate yeah, swirl that with looks butterscotch like and crushed like M&M's. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. It's like Reese's Pieces. Oh, Reese's Pieces. Yeah, that, you're right. More Reese's Pieces than M&M's. That's true. I'm going to try the German chocolate cake first. Yeah, you... I remember last time you and I were here, I got the German chocolate cake. And I didn't care for it because I didn't realize it had coconut in it, but apparently that's that's part of how why it's German chocolate that cake. That is, yes. That is a, a signature part of the German chocolate cake. Let's see. Let's try this out. I like German chocolate cake. I like coconut. I just thought it was made of German chocolate, but apparently there's more to it. <laughs> it's good. It's hard to mess this up. It's just chocolate layers with this, the different like nutty filling. Is there coconut? coconut, or am I there's thinking coconut. of a different type coconut. of cake? There's a there like is a coconut. I'm getting a coconut taste for sure. Yeah, just like try to coconut. Yeah, that's what I don't like about it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like a little eclair of sorts in the no sugar added section. Let's try this out. Okay. I think they've been sitting a bit. Yeah, that's a lot of this food's been kind of sitting around. I mean, it's this is a large buffet, and it there's is. A, a lot of a lot of food, a lot of tables, and you know, it's a large space. It's a huge. It's a really space. large let's, space. Let's take a look around, and you can kind of see. Just take a 360 of, of everything, and there is like it's, it has an old-fashioned kind of classic look to it, to the architecture. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a whole other section on the other side of the station. Of the okay, you know what? I'm going to try this banana cream pie. This, that's the last thing here. I love a banana cream pie. I know. I almost got that, and then I didn't. So maybe yeah, so, okay. that's what I should have gotten. Oh, you know what? It's not banana cream pie. It's not? It's coconut cream pie. Oh, well then I definitely wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. It, I thought it was banana cream pie. It's coconut cream pie. That's what I thought. There's definitely shredded coconut in the filling. It looked like a banana cream pie from That's the outside. What I thought. Yeah. There's definitely shredded coconut. So, yeah, it's a good thing you didn't get it. Yeah. So the Garden Court Buffet here at Main Street Station in downtown Las Vegas. It's the only buffet open in downtown right now. And you really can't go wrong because it's the only place you can go. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the Main Street Station Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.